PDF buffer is obviously very fast. But in certain cases, you might have uh, certain customizations or uh, complex processes to run uh, when a file is saved or after you have uh, created a document. So in this case, uh, for instance, my quote, a doc config uh, will save as a file. And I have also an after actionable that will run a specific flow to update stage when I run the, uh, uh, the document, when the document is generated. So these two actions occur after the file is, do is uh, generated. And if they take up a lot of time, then of course, this is uh, impacting the user experience. So in this case, if I generate these documents, it will now generate the documents, save it as a file and update the, uh, um, the stage. So if I close this, you will see the update, the stage being updated automatically. That's because of the after flow. Now, what if you say, I don't want to wait, I don't want the user to wait for all of these actions to take. <clears throat> these actions can be taken afterwards, uh, after the visual presentation or after the user has gotten a feedback that everything was done perfectly and everything is done okay. So let's change the stage back. And now we can do two things. So first of all, we have to now, uh, we have to say that we want to save the file async. So async, uh, async actions are done uh, you don't have to wait for them. So they are done while you are performing other actions and continuing with the processes. And in the background, they will run and finish their items. So in this case, we're gonna uh, have files async, we're gonna have files overwrite async and files add version async. You might see these as inactive values or you might not see this. So uh, when they are not there or when they are inactive, obviously just add them. So I'm going to add these ones now here. So you might have an existing version of PDF Butter and you're just updating. Uh, we don't want to pass these uh, actions directly to the customer because that might just be confusing. So that's why we uh, you can just add them on afterwards or make, uh, activate them afterwards. So it's uh, files async, files overwrite async and files add version async. These three are available. If you just say, I only need files async, obviously only add files async. The other ones, you can skip those. These are going to be active for all of these record types. And then I click save. So now we have, we can now say that we want to run the uh, files async. And I'm going to do that right here on my doc config. If I say now files async save, it will still uh, generate the document, show the preview, do everything, but the saving of the file will be done. Uh, yeah, we will not have to wait for that. So if I click the button here now, of course, it goes so fast that you don't, that doesn't see, you seem to be a real impact, but behind the scenes, the file is, uh, is actually being saved while I'm looking at this preview instead of being saved before it shows the preview. So you see the uh, um, the flow to update the stage is still being run. So we also gonna make that async. For that, we have on the uh, actionable uh, object, we have a field called when, same thing here, or you might have an inactive uh, an inactive value for uh, uh, after async, or you just create the value here that is called after async. And you can do that for all the items that you want. Uh, here, you might say, well, I want that for the auto email. I might want to do that for the uploads to FTP. Uh, I might want to do that for sign Butler. Huh? Um, and then obviously here in this case, we want to do it for the uh, upload to uh, uh, running the flow. So we have files async. We can save this now. And if I update the uh, after actionable, I can make this one to say files async. Save. Now, when I go back here, um, I have to be very fast uh, because I'm going to generate the documents and then I'm going to immediately close the uh, the previewer. So when I close the previewer, you will see that this does not update and that I have to actually refresh the entire page. Why? Because obviously the uh, um, the, uh, uh, the update flow huh, uh, that updates the uh, stage 
will actually run asynchronously. So we don't uh, know. It might take a second, maybe two seconds, five seconds before it actually starts running. Yeah, we do, it, did, it didn't run uh, in the same uh, process as the generation of the documents. So let's generate this one. I'm going to close it immediately. See, it was still very fast. So let's try this uh, another time. And OK, let's generate the document and close it immediately. And now you see uh, that it didn't, uh, that, it, that yeah, I was fast enough and that Salesforce took a couple of seconds extra to run this uh, flow asynchronously. So if I now would generate this entire doc, the entire page, it updated uh, because the flow has run asynchronously and now it's there. So it runs correctly.